What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm gonna to show you 10 great tips and tricks for your new Pixel phone. Number one is installing a custom launcher. The new Pixel launcher is actually pretty nice. It's got some really cool features, but I think we can do better. My personal favorite is Nova Launcher. It's incredibly customizable. And one of my favorite features is the ability to put folders in your application drawer. It also works really well with custom widgets. This search widget at the top is a Zupa widget and the skin is called Flat UI. The live wallpaper that I'm using is called Forest Live Wallpaper. And it has this really nice parallax effect, which will give some depth to your home screen and make your icons really pop. And then there is the icon pack that I'm using, which is called Simpax. And if you combine all these together, you'll be able to make your new Pixel phone look even better than it did when you took it out of the box. Next up, you want to go into your settings and you want to go into moves. From there, you want to enable swipe for notifications. And this will let you run your finger up and down your fingerprint sensor on the back of your phone in order to open and close your notification panel. Next, go back into settings and scroll down to where it says sound. From here, you want to go into other sounds and you can turn off all the really annoying sounds that occur when you unlock your phone or touch your screen. And you can also turn off the vibration. Next, go back into settings and go into security. From here, we're gonna go into Nexus imprint and this will let you register more fingerprints to your phone. Do this for both hands and then you can unlock your phone regardless of which hand you're holding it in. Next up is an app which will let you customize your quick settings tiles. These are basically shortcuts that live in your notification shade and this app will allow you to add a whole bunch of extra ones. So for example, you can add a link to a specific app or you can just add a link to another setting on your phone. Once you've enabled the tiles that you want, just pull down in your notification shade, hit the little edit button and you'll be able to drag and drop these new quick settings tiles into that panel. Next up is setting up Android Pay. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for me because I'm on RBS in the UK and they don't yet support Android Pay. But if your bank does support it, this will let you just buy stuff using your phone. Next, go back into your settings, scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says about phone. You want to go into it here, scroll down again, and then tap multiple times on your build number. And this will unlock the developer settings of your phone. This lets you mess with a couple of cool settings. You can enable USB debugging, which is really useful if you're doing some more hacky stuff on Android. And one of my favorite things that you can do in developer options is change your animation speeds, which will make your phone feel even quicker. Next up, you want to open up your keyboard, long press on the comma, and you'll get a little gear icon pop up. If you tap on this, you can then go ahead and customize the Google keyboard. There's a whole bunch of different themes to choose, so you can find whichever one is most to your liking. And if you want, you can turn the keyboarders on and off if you want to customize it even more. You can also enable gesture typing, and this is a really quick way to type, especially if you type one-handed a lot. Next in settings, you want to go into display and we are going to enable the nightlight mode. This is a new mode in Android N which lets you put a red filter over the screen and you can set this so it will automatically do it when the sun sets. This means you can use your phone at night and because it cuts out the blue light, this isn't going to interrupt your sleep patterns. And finally on this list, you need to go into Chrome. You want to hit the little three button menu. You want to scroll down to where it says settings and then within settings, you want to enable data saver. What this does is allows Google service to compress all the data that is sent to your phone. So you're going to be using less data and it should speed up the loading of web pages, both over 3G and over Wi-Fi. So there you are guys. Those are 10 of my favorite tips and tricks for the Google Pixel phone. These will also work for any device running Android 7.1. Please let me know in the comments below if there's any other stuff you want to see, whether it's specifically for the Pixel or if it's a general app list or anything like that. I appreciate that a lot of my regular followers might not have a Google Pixel, so I am going to be doing some general top 10 apps lists over the next couple of days as well for you guys. But please go ahead and like this video if you've enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on all my social media whatnots with the links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.